Now to measure marbling, we're going to lay it right across the top of their back here, right across that muscle. Picture if this was a log. If you were, if you're measuring ribeye area, you just cut the log in half and you measure the total face of that log. Now for a marbling image, we're going to be splitting that log long ways and shooting straight down through it. So we'll get a bigger surface area for measuring our intramuscular fat. And we're looking for the same thing. We're looking for the last three ribs in that screen. Uh, we want that because uh, we have to measure between the 12th and 13th rib. If I go too far forward, we start getting too much spinalis. Image is blocked. If I move too far back, then we get into our lumbars. So we want to be right between or right over the last three ribs. And we want to we'll see nice clean rib images show up on that screen. You're looking for the last three ribs. This is your 13th, 12th, 11th rib. And you see up top is the hide. There's your back fat that we saw on the ribeye image. And this is shooting long ways through the muscle. And these are the tops of the last three ribs. And we're gonna measure the amount of marbling between these last two ribs. And I'm gonna collect at least four images or five. And then we'll get a, a reading on each one. And then we'll run an average. And that's where you come up with your average intramuscular fat per annum. Okay, we're going over here now to our shoot side reading. I've already triggered it. I'll show you what happens here. This box comes up in here, and what it's going to do is measure everything the white. The whiter this image is, the higher they marble. And uh, conversely, if this, armal, if this animal didn't have a lot of marbling, this image would be real dark. And so what we're, it's doing is measuring up there. Now, like with the other, uh, with the ribeye tracing, I can interact and move this box where it needs to be. I want it to place it somewhere in this area between the 12th and 13th rib, and it gives a reading over here at the same time. And if I place that box everywhere, so far where I've done these two, and we've got a 4.11. It originally measured her as 4.18, I believe. Those are all within the uh, uh, the uh, you know the average there, so we wouldn't have to move that box if we want to. Now what you don't want to do is for this box to be over here. As we move farther over here towards the spinalis, we get underneath it and this number tends to go up and you get an inaccurate reading. What we're looking for, this number is going to be a direct correlation to your quality grades in your meat. Uh, standard, select, choice, and prime. When you're in that four area, you're in the you're up, uh, into choice. This is a good solid number. Uh, so that's kind of a number where a lot of people with ear cattle are shooting for uh, up above this. You see higher numbers, and then as that does, your quality grade goes up also. But if this had been a dark image, this number might be a, a two or even less than that, then you're getting down into select and standard, which is what we haven't been aiming for. Um, this is a bad marbling image. I kind of blurred this bottom here, but you see this is the spinalis moving into the picture here. And if you have, you're allowed, you can get an image with a little bit of spinalis. If it's more than a third of the image, that image would automatically be rejected. This is the same cow we measured a minute ago. This image is blurred. She just jumped a full percentage reading in her IMF just off a blurred image which isn't it which is a, a wrong number but that's why uh, positioning of the cattle and quality image is so important